Hey everybody out there, this is Seto, and today for you guys we profile my friend's Altergeist deck. So I hope you guys enjoy it, uh, and you enjoy the deck profile. So without further ado, I'll let him take over. Um, I don't know what to say, this is Altergeist. Um, yeah. I'll explain ratios. Uh, three Melisi. This is, you want, you want to play three. Um, three Kirins. Three Marionettas, and then I just play two of the Battle Fighter. Um, I'm playing with this. I'm, I'm playing Double Desires. Um, I don't like this too. Um, just for the fact that if you, don't, if you desire these away, um, it's kind of like it's kind of like a, a pseudo engine. So I'll probably either up this to three or do stuff with Desires. Um, and then I play two Ghost Soakers, three Ash, and then three Reapers. You don't need your extra deck, so Reapers really good. And then I'll show the targets later. <laughs> I have like And then Dark Horror Gekki, because Dark Horror Gekki, I don't really like these in the deck, but there's some stuff you have a problem outing. And that's like against like magicians or um, dinos, if you end up going second, this is just, it will out their board or force in a gate. Um, two desires. Again, I might cut this to one. Um, I'm either going to cut this to one or I'm going to add another uh, battle fighter. Um, or I'm going to do both. Because I don't, I don't really like resolving two desires because then, then your deck's gonna go. Um, but I want to see it, so I'm not, I'm not sure about this. Um, also, not that most of the deck can't get ashed. Um, so people that don't, the people that don't know how to play against the deck are gonna either hold ash or they're gonna ash this, and then it's just kind of like I don't know, I don't know how I feel about this card in the deck. And then I play two dualities. Um, I was playing three, I cut it to two. And now I might play three again because I want to see this card. I just don't want to see more than one of the card, but I want to see it over again. So I think I'm gonna just play to three, and then I play two Cyclone. Um, these are good. I played three in Atlanta, and I saw them. I just saw two. It was a lot, and I didn't want to see two, of them, so I cut it. I cut it to two. And then for traps, I play I play two spoofing. Uh, once multi figure comes out, this will definitely be a three of. Um, right now, it's a, right now, uh, two to three is correct. Um, I definitely want to play one of this, cause, but I want to open it. So um, I want to open it, but I don't I don't want to see more than one. But seeing more than one isn't bad. So I might up this to three because I I want to. I didn't see my battle player as much today as I'd like to. So this can just keep on keep the cycle going. So I might up this to three. Um, three protocol. This is like the best card in the deck. Uh, three call hauntings, basically. Um, you could cut this to two because Marinetta can set it, but this is really good. Um, with the Karen, also with Nelsie, it's really good. Um, and it's a name for your battle fader to, so you can summon it, so I don't know. Um, this card's really good, this card's really underrated. Um, flip this, it's, if it's after game one, flip this on standby, because you will get Denko. And then if this is up, you can just summon your battle fader and then you get the Denko and then all your stuff is live. Um, also, it, you wanna flip, if you have two of these, you wanna preemptively flip one so you can use the other one for the other one, if that makes sense. Uh, because if they go effect, you can't flip, flip, and then use it because you're changing this. But um, these are really good. I played three of both, and then I play uh, all the all the uh, solids. I don't know how I feel about this at three because you can't resolve all of this. Um, I like one one two, but I want to see this, so I think one one three is fine. And then for the extra deck, I play two hexes. You don't really need three. Um, and then sometimes you'll go hex in, hex in, like gear or something. So I think two is necessary. I play one prime match just in case you guys do it. Um, I play one great, one link great ball for the middle seat place. Um, once you, once multi pack comes out, you may want to play two. Um, I think one's fine. Um, and then the rest are just cherry star games. It paid off. Uh, this really shouldn't be in there. I, uh, it needs a little bit of tweaking. Um, this is for this is for the deck. This is for the gym line FTK. Um, this is for World Chalice. You might want to play M deck instead of this. Um, I haven't decided. And I don't also don't have any M deck on your World Chalice at home. Um, this is for Spirals. This is for Brilliant Fusion. This is, this is obvious. This is obvious. Um, you can make this. And that Ghost Black Rose looks beautiful, by the way. You can make this. Um, you more make this and actually change this. But 
sometimes they will go into the sanctuary. Is, is it bad? Uh, <laughs> I bought a collection. Because and most of the time you'll like play a monster and then set five, and then or set four, and it shows set three, whatever. It shows it again, and then if you read the Black Rose play. Like this is all right. I don't know. I I rarely change this. And then um, I was I played a, a Minerva and a what else did I outstay? Yeah, he took one more card. He took one more. No, he took a Dante. I wouldn't play Dante. Yeah. Um, I would play For targets. Yeah. I would play the Link Three uh, Light Swarm Monster. And then I would play maybe maybe Baguska. And then. A toad. Yeah. How's it looking? Because yeah. toad kind of hurts. For your cherries target. For cherries target. Yeah. Um, you don't really need any. Um, like this is this is your extra deck right here. And really, just this is your extra deck. This comes up very very rare, but it does come up, and you don't like the space is not killer. Like you have so much space to work with. Um, I think this is fine. Another a third one of these is okay, um, but you don't need it. I don't think. And then there's hardly gonna be any games where you make. So that's why you used the cherries for the targets. Yeah. And if you if you make two of these and you're in a spot where you can make a third yard, you're winning the game already, so it doesn't matter. And then um, that actually can be a uh, tweet uh, for cherries depending on your locals. And that's about it. All right. Well, thanks very much, man. I hope you guys all enjoyed that. Hopefully it was informative for you. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks, man.